guys, welcome to How Inez Rolls. Today, let's get real. I'm about to go and do a couple of grocery pickups and I'll explain why. So the real parts are probably a little bit nerve wracking for a lot of us, maybe a little bit of anxiety about what's going on. I mean, it's just kind of unclear. We don't know what's, you know, we can only control what happens in our home. And so I feel, and this would be around the time, the back to school time is when I take inventory of our medicines. Um, I like to just try to do a bulk pickup of sorts. Um, so I'm gonna be visiting uh, Walmart and I did a Target pickup, a smaller one. And I'm gonna be hitting Vons just to kind of do our weekly grocery haul. But you guys, it's time to stock up, don't you think? Like think about things that you're gonna need in your pantry. What are some go-to meals for your family that you could stock up maybe in your freezer? Uh, what is your idea for going to stock up? Do you buy one, buy two for the pantry? Do you just buy one and get one extra? If you can't afford to do all of that, which technically I'm kind of in that boat as well, um, I just like to um, look, go to like Walmart, look for the sales. And I've also in the past, like a lot, uh, put aside like 10 to $20 each week uh, maybe more 10 and just use that to stock up and how quickly my pantry started to fill up. I'm such a huge advocate for um, uh, trying to stock up your pantry uh, just to try to make sure you have go-to meals. So I asked my kids, I'm like, what is it that you will eat if we could not, you know, make yummy meals? Like if I couldn't, you know, make a large meal like a, a large grocery haul or if I couldn't do that so I took those suggestions that they told me and that's kind of where I'm at right now you guys so let's go pick up my order from Walmart I am gonna be doing it um, through pickup and then I'm gonna be heading over to Vons so everything that I'm getting at Walmart doesn't need to be refrigerated so that will be okay to be in the trunk for a little while while I go and pick up food from Vaughn. So let's go. Just get in the pickup, he's putting it in the trunk and then we're heading to Vaughn's. Whoa. Look at all the toilet paper. I mean, we still have a lot of empty shelves, but this, this is okay. So I am trying to make an effort to get something every time I go grocery shopping. Ooh, you guys, it is quite the scorcher, and you'll probably hear that from me for the rest of the summer just because it's like 110. So let's start going through all of the stuff, but first let me show you um, before I put these away, so you know we have some sodas, and that's our favorite um, laundry soap. Um, let me show you. Look at that, that skin sensitive one that has the um, fresh scent with the green cap. That is my favorite. And, um, but I like Arm & Hammer product anyway, so if I'm at Costco and I need soap, I might get it there. And it's probably not a bad idea to get an extra one because I'm planning a Costco trip. So let me put this uh, toilet paper away and the sodas and then let's get started. But first, let me show you what I got from Target. So this is what we got from Target just recently. So just a container of toilet paper. So. I strongly feel that we need to start stocking up on these kinds of um, disposables, so to say, that and flushable wipes. So that is definitely something that we need. Um, I like getting, um, I like to stock up on, um, these are for, mostly for the kids, for the shampoo and some more dishwasher stuff and deodorants. And this one is actually for Ezra. He, it's kind of the same like smells that we use in our own shower but this is like the kid version so he likes that and then this one is for Jonas so pretty much this is for Jonas and this one's for Jonas so uh, we'll just make sure we keep those in our pantry up, or our closet upstairs and let's keep going Ooh, okay so that was a, a great little start to what I have as an idea for how to stock up. So I do have um, a little bit of a haul here from uh, Walmart 
and I'll show you some of the other things that I got. This time it's not really so much some, I mean, I did a few things food, but mostly was like toiletries and medicine. But you guys, I really strongly feel like while things are loading up on the shelves that maybe one every time you go, one every time you go, or two if your store allows it, um, put one to use, one to store. Especially if you have a family, especially if you have older um, family members or even younger ones like children. Good, it's a good thing to have, and then that way when you know things happen, because we cannot predict 2020, right, you guys? It has been wow. You can at least be ready. So let me show you some of the things I got for our freezer. I didn't buy uh, meat products, but I did buy or meat uh, from the deli or from the butcher, but I did get frozen things to put in here. Now these are really good for, I mean, they're not my favorite, I'll just tell you that right now, but the kids really like them, and when they just need something quick and easy, they just like these. And you guys, let me know in the comments if you've ever had these like mini uh, TV dinner type things. Um, I also got these burritos. Ooh, ooh, I love bean and cheese burritos, and I like this brand actually. But this is gonna be only for me because <laughs> I'm the only one who eats this stuff. So um, this will last me a while. Kobe always asks me to make lasagna. I had a good coupon to get it. So I just decided to get one already made. It does say party size, but we'll just call it a couple of days for lunch. <laughs> you guys, this is gonna be perfect for the boys and hopefully I can get a little salad in there as well. So this ended up being like $6.50, I think. Wow, what a great price. And then I got an emergency pizza and these were just $3.50. So those uh, TV dinner little ones, these little freezer ones were like less than a dollar or a dollar. So yay, let me go put these away and I'll show you what else I have. All right, so here we go with some of the medicines and things that I got from uh, Walmart. Uh, I like having peroxide on hand. It's very useful. Plus, if you mix a little bit into your shampoo, it should help a little bit with um, lightening and taking out some of the, the yellow in my gray. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> um, I got some alcohol swabs and some band-aids. This is the bar of soaps that guys that I love using. This is what I use to wash my face with and my body. And I love the price. It's like eight bucks for 12 bars. So yeah, I dig it. Got some dryer sheets and this is actually our favorite lotion I am NOT a perfumey kind of lotion in fact if it has a floral scent to the lotion I could break out in hives which has happened so I just try to get it to not have too much of a scent so this is a very light scent and it works really good just some q-tips and then here's some more medicine some you know headache medicine for the kids and for mom and dad <laughs> And then I just picked up some more antacids. Just it's always good to have on hand. So do you see anything in there that you like using? Maybe you use a certain type of tongues. Maybe you use a certain kind of, of lotion just like we do. Let me know in the comments. Maybe we can be twinners. <laughs> okay, I picked up some cheeses. These were all on sale for, like you can buy these at Costco. This is like Costco size. Usually Costco is about five bucks, which is a really good price. $3.99, you guys, even better. Picked up some sour cream, you could always have that. Grandma Sycamore, and I got it in wheat, Ezzy. Okay. You should be a little bit happier than that. Um, I got three boxes of these Honey Nut Cheerios, the family loves it. And I actually was overhearing a conversation with the teller, and she was saying if you're going to stock up, this was the week to do it because there was a lot of things on sale. So that made me a little bit happy. I picked up some baked uh, mac and cheese and some roasted potatoes. I just thought for a quick side, I will be working again next week. So maybe I can get more dinners done. <laughs> Let me get this away and let's keep going. All right, so here's some of the healthy foods. Well, a little bit. So Roma tomatoes and some carrots i tried looking for broccoli but i just didn't like the broccoli i was looking at so but i like looking at these nice bananas so these bananas here are ripening 
probably in the next day or so, I'm gonna cut them in half and put them in the freezer. We've been using them a lot in some smoothies. Um, lettuce, and they had, this is one of the reasons I even went to Vons is because these are on sale for like 88 cents a pound, which grapes are expensive, you guys. So whenever it's under a dollar like that, I am definitely gonna buy them. And of course, potatoes. But to offset all this healthy, I gotta do the candies. You guys, this one's probably the healthiest of the candies, but I thought that looked so good in little packets too. <laughs> and then you guys, these are all on sale, 59 cents each for these, which is pretty good, and then a dollar each. So let's see how long these last, but I can tell you right now, Paul loves the peanut m and <laughs> So let's keep going, we're almost done. These chips were three for five dollars. These are just plain ones and some barbecue ones. Tortilla chips, always, right? Because we can always do some easy nachos. I picked up a couple of these boxes of uh, the beef jerky for Paul. We needed some more salt, so I just got some sea salt. And of course, I had to pick up another can of my favorite en green enchilada sauce. I picked up Ezra, some goldfish, because I know he, he's cheering over there. He really likes them. I um, needed some butter. They were on sale. Some milk and, of course, eggs. You know, like kind of like the staples. And I asked the boys, if it turns out we can't leave the house, what is it that you guys are going to eat for breakfast and would totally enjoy every day? They said, pancakes, which I got a couple of boxes. This is actually my favorite pancake mix. Um, I think Krusty's, um, even though you can buy it in the big, huge pack at Costco, has like a funny aftertaste to me, a little sour or a tang or something like that that I'm not a fan of. So this one does not, and it's almost like a homemade recipe. So whenever I make my homemade um, pancakes from scratch, very similar in taste, funny. And then they also said oatmeal. So I know that these are full of sugar, but for my boys to have breakfast, sometimes we're just going to give them some of these. Um, and I'm, I'm okay with that for now. So uh, I do have regular oatmeal and I could always do a combination of mixing them with regular oatmeal. So it kind of lessens the sweetness and I still might, maybe I'll try that because that seems like it'll just be um, less sweet, and I kind of like that idea. But these ones are really good go-to packs when I'm trying to introduce something new or newer or we haven't had it in a while. And then they start appreciating when I make it from, you know, like just from the regular oats. So I'm okay with that. Uh, and then I got a few that, like containers of spaghetti. These are a dollar each. So you see, guys, you can take like $10 get like 10 boxes of spaghetti then the next week you go grocery shopping take that ten dollars and get however many cans of sauce that you can get with ten dollars and then you you're doing pretty good and then we can't forget the oreos the boys like these and really you guys i think i just really buy a lot for my kids so i don't really eat tons of this stuff but um yeah, it makes them happy. And right now, they are playing outside, but at, in the evenings or in the early mornings, so they're burning off the calories, which is good. And that's it, you guys. Woo, that's a lot, right? So that is, let me break this down. I spent like $60 at Target and $60 at Walmart, and then $140 at bonds just now so yes that's like an extra hundred that i normally probably wouldn't spend but my heart is just telling me to start so um i'm okay i'm good with that so let me know what your thoughts are are you stocking up right now are you like trying to plan meals maybe put some freezer meals together maybe baggy put baggies meals i know some people do that and i think that's such a great idea and then that way you could share those meals with neighbors when times get tough you know a box of spaghetti a, a container of sauce and maybe like a can of corn put it in a ziploc baggie and we've done that before as well as a family so 
You guys, I just would like for you to know how much I appreciate you, how much you mean so much to our family. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for showing up every time I upload. You guys are the best and I'm hoping that you're all doing well, taking good care of yourselves and starting to think ahead. So have a wonderful day rollers and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye everyone.